stands for no calibration, no charging and no costs. The Triple C is an industry leader in terms of battery life and it lasts for a full three years without any charging as suggested by the name. So unlike traditional gas detectors that use a catalytic sensor in to essentially burn the gas in order to detect its presence, which naturally sort of drains the battery, the Triple C uses infrared technology in order to detect the presence of gas, which is a lot less draining on the battery and makes it be able to last for a lot longer. So the Triple C has got its full suite of approvals starting from its ATEX Zone Zero approval. So it's one of the few gas detectors in the market that is able to be operated within a Zone Zero environment to so even the most dangerous of places on board a tanker. In addition to this and sort of its main one, it's got its MED wheel marked approval. So it's safe for use within any sort of marine environment. And in the coming, coming weeks, stroke months, it'll soon have its UK MED approval. It's a fully customizable unit which is done so via connecting the unit to a laptop through a, a, an infrared dongle. Once connected the user can customize which sensors are actually detecting for gases so it can drop down to a single gas detection unit and in addition to that the alarm levels can be customized and be made so that they align fully to your to a vessel's health and safety protocols. So if the ranges need to be slightly more tighter than, than what they're manufactured at, that can be changed. Um, and further to that as well, the devices can actually be named. So if you've got different crew members operating on different ship, ship patterns, or if you want to make it so that each crew member has their own detector and it's named as per the crew member's name, you can do that, which makes life much easier when it comes to, to data logging and extracting the data because you can see which individuals have been wearing the units and when. It can be calibrated, although it doesn't need to be. This is done so via the calibration cap, which sits on the front of the unit. That's then connected via a fixed flow regulator to a cylinder of gas. The valve on the gas cylinder is opened up. The unit senses the gas and, and it calibrates itself and proves that it's working within the desired ranges. So again, unlike a traditional ga gas detector that uses the catalytic sensors, those type of models need oxygen to be present within an atmosphere in order for the sensor to burn and, and detect the presence of gas. That obviously can't be done without oxygen being present. So the infrared sensor technology that's used within the triple C enables the unit to continue to perform even in those kind of environments. Similarly, when we're thinking of flammable environments, it brings it back to its own zero ATEX rating. It's intrinsically safe and, and can be used in those situations. So the Triple C comes with a full three years warranty that lasts the lifetime of the unit. So if there is any failures or anything that goes wrong with the unit, it's outside of sort of intentional damage, then we'll replace the units completely free of charge. The Triple C, because of the no maintenance, no charging, no calibration, unlike its rivals on the market, once you've invested in that particular piece of equipment, there's no ongoing costs. So there's a there's a cost saving advantage. There's also the advantage of the time and money that is naturally invested in maintaining a fleet's worth of gas detectors. You'll have purchasers, technical officers having to work against shipping spare sensors and gas right across the globe, which, as I say, it takes up quite a lot of time, especially for those organisations out there with larger fleets because it doesn't require calibration or any human intervention that naturally removes any scope for human error as it's a piece of safety equipment that is obviously advantageous. Pairing those two together, it's industry leading in terms of cost saving and streamlining costs and the sort of unparamounted safety that it offers that I would say makes Triple C a leading competitor in the multicast detector market space.
would probably be to take the plunge with triple C. In true MarTech fashion, it disrupts the standard way that companies approach gas detection and maintaining their gas detection equipment, which can be quite scary. As an industry, I think we get used to the norm and, and the norm for such a long time has been to either send detectors back to shore or calibrate them on board, which is great. But as technology moves on, we want the industry to move on. And we genuinely feel that with the triple C, going back to the pre my previous comments, it will streamline costs, it will improve safety. And we can evidence all that through tools that we've built in light of sort of launching the unit, one of them being our triple C savings calculator, which we're happy to share with all our customers directly, but I'll also give you a bit of an introduction to next. So as I've just alluded to, we've got um, an array of tools that we've built um, around the triple C that sort of help our customers do some comparisons against the triple C and uh, their current your current solution. Um, the easiest one and probably the most impactful of them all is this um, savings calculator. And what it enables you to do is take your current solution and all the costs that are associated with it um, and directly compare it to the cost of the triple C and what I'll do for you now is just give you a very quick demonstration of, of how it works and just prove that it's a, it's a really simple tool. So as a starting off point we'll put in the cost of your current detector and um, we know that there's um, cheaper purchase prices um, out there on the market in terms of a, an initial buy price so we'll pop in a, a nice little figure of $650. Um, we'll then move on to calibration costs. So we know that these can vary broadly depending on the ports that your vessels are sailing in. We know that some ports in South America, for example, can be particularly expensive for these kind of things. But if your vessel's on those trading routes, then that's the kind of, kind of only option that you've got. Uh, but taking that aside, we'll, we'll put in, again, a bit of an average price of around $200. Um, the first sensor cost that you need to consider then is the cost of your replacement oxygen sensors. Um, so similar to your calibrations, these can vary, uh, but they do tend to come in at around $200 again. These are replaced um, every every two years. So um, across six years, um, you're looking at sort of multiple, multiple oxygen sensor replacements. Um, the, the next one that you've got is your dual tox sensor. These tend to be a little bit more expensive than your oxygen sensors because you've got two gases being detected within the one sensor. Um, so we'll pop that in at sort of around $350. The last one then is the LEL sensor. It's got the longest life of them all, um, sort of around five years, um, and it comes in at a similar price to the dual tox. So what we've got now is the cost of your detector um, itself and then the cost of the calibrations and the sensors that you'll have to replace along the way. Um, the last one is, is logistical costs and we refer to them here at MarTech as hidden costs because they are very much just that. What we tend to find when we're speaking to our customers is the cost of getting the detectors to and from your vessel, so back to um, a service provider or a calibration provider, getting the sensors to and from the vessel are often um, overlooked um, and this is probably because naturally you're sending equipment to and from your ship all the time uh, but if we if we take those into account and even if we put in a really really low figure of sort of a hundred dollars per per maintenance interval you'll see that um, it quite quickly escalates to, to a considerable amount of money. Over six years, you're looking at $500, which in this case is almost the cost of the original detector itself. So if we move across then to the right-hand side, we'll put in the cost of the triple C detector. Um, its current pricing is at 879. And what then happens is it directly compares the 879 against this three-year cost here of $2,000 um, and calculates a saving in this case of $1,121. Um, which looking at it like this, I must admit, does seem really trivial. But if you then think about that's per detector, we know that vessels carry multiple personal gas detectors. Um, a tanker, for example, um, often has sort of eight to ten um, multi-gas detectors on board. 
So you're easily coming in at around $10,000 saving per vessel. We amplify that then further by the number of tankers in a fleet. If you take a fleet of, of 20 tankers, you've got $200,000 that you can save within three years. And you've not done anything different. You've not stopped detecting gas. You've not kept stopped protecting your crew. You're just swapping out one detector for another. Um, and as I'm sure most of you will know, $200,000 worth of savings can, can be much better um, reinvested in, in other aspects of, of operating operating a vessel. So that's the calculator, that's how it works um, and um, we'll be able to, um, to share those and hope to share those with as many of our customers as we can so that you can carry out your own comparisons based on your own costings. Thank you for taking the time to um, sit and watch our video today. I hope you found the information that I went through helpful. Um, if anybody uh, has any follow-up questions or if you'd like to find out more information off the back of what I've uh, gone through, uh, please feel free to reach out. Um, you can also get access or a link to the calculator that I ran through. Um, the best email address to do so is sales at martech-marine.com um, and yeah, get in touch and, and one of our lovely um, sales team members will be in touch and, and give you a helping hand. Thanks. Mm -hmm.